For the Beaver Radio Network, I'm Brian Schultz. PSU men's hockey team will travel to Lake Superior State this weekend, joined by defenseman Graham McCormick. Graham, uh, I'll be blunt. How fed up with losing are you guys right now? Yeah, it gets old pretty quick. Um, you know, uh, things were going all right. We were getting lots of ties and a few wins, and but we weren't really playing that well hockey. And, um, you know, it runs out, your luck runs out, and right now we have to go back to the basics and, you know, just do the little things right. Uh, one breakdown in this league can mean the difference of a win and a loss, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. One turnover or one bad decision uh, gets jammed down your throat, and that's the difference between the game. It was a couple bounces on Friday, and Saturday just got away from us again. On the positives, uh, you have certainly been a lot more offensive this year than you were a year ago. Is it uh, just more comfort, uh, more ice time, or what is it? A uh, combination of both. I mean, you know, the coaches put a little bit more trust in you, and and then you try to deliver and, you know, make good with uh, the chances that you're given. So, yeah, I think both. How different was it uh, Friday night when Sam got hurt and you guys are juggling uh, defensive pairs, and especially when it's a guy that seems to be on the ice a ton that uh, he's not there anymore? Yeah, for sure. You know, he plays in all situations, um, power play, penalty kill, um, you know, matching up against their first line. So, uh, you know, it's testament to uh, Bert's juggling abilities uh, for the D pairings um, against their top line. And, you know, guys like myself get moved onto the to, onto the par- penalty kill. Um, different people are playing the power play now, so it's it's definitely different. What's practice been like here after the break when it seems like everybody's back and healthy finally? Lots of bodies, a lot, a lot more rest. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's nicer, you know, more, more people in lines and a little bit more break. But you know, with everyone going, you know, the practice can be uh, at a higher tempo. Um, you know, short spurts, everyone's going. Um, it's exciting. Uh, the way that the first half of the season ended, you guys didn't have the bye week uh, at all in the first half, and kind of stubbed your toe a little bit there. Uh, the last game, it's three weeks too long there, where you're. You're constantly thinking about it. Do you guys want to get back out on the ice right away? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, in a, in a way, it was almost good that that game happened. You know, we had been, like I said, we had playing mediocre and we'd been getting away with it. Um, you know, we got what we deserved in that one. Didn't play well, and uh, you know, something burning in the back of your mind. Uh, you know, this month isn't going to be very easy. Uh, got a long bus trip this week to Lake State. You got a flight to Fairbanks at the end of the month. And, oh, yeah, I have North Dakota sandwiched in between the two. Uh, there's no time like the present to start playing well because you're going to have to, aren't you? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, you know, you look at the schedule and coach said it, you know, we don't really have an opportunity to take any weekends off. You know, we have to play well now. Um, sweeps, um, you know, getting beat like we did, you know, that could that could mean, you know, we dropped a couple places in the standings. We get a sweep this weekend, you know, we can move right back up. So it's it's crucial. Good luck. Thank you.